Hi, this is Jeannie from listentoyourfreedom.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use this fantastic, completely free online um, Google drawing. And it's, it's basically you could use it to create your own infographics, to create your own charts that illustrate things because you can insert tables or graphics or whatever. So it's super easy to use. There's actually, I didn't even look at the instructions. I just came here and I created this already because it's so plug and play. So I'm just going to create a little um, flow chart here for you. To sh this is going to go in, in module 17, which is showing you how to use your social media correctly. So this is how easy it is to do. So I've done this. Now, depending on what I want to insert, I come over here and I can do a line. I can do a shape and then there's different types of shapes. So the one I just grabbed is this one here. So I think underneath it, I'll want that to go to maybe just like a, a rounded rectangle. Yeah, okay. So I've selected that. And then see this cross here? That means I can start drawing it. So let's say I start here. Okay, I didn't want that one with the, with the thing cut off. So it's highlighted. I just hit delete. Gone. Let's grab another one. Maybe I grabbed the wrong one. I'm going to try that again. Ta-da! That's the one I wanted. Okay, now I can make this as small, like I could make this as small or as large or whatever as I want. So I think I'm going to keep it roughly the same size. Now if I didn't like where that was, I just pick it up and I can move it. You see, this is this is how fabulous this thing is. And see on the side, that red, that's my guideline. So that's showing me where I'm lined up with. I mean, most of the stuff that Google does is just fantastic. Okay, so now that I've got it here, and I say, well, I want to write in it. So how do I do that? Easy peasy. You go back to insert, and you grab a text box. And again, where do you want your text box? Your... Site or your landing page. I'm gonna make that lowercase. Okay, now I can change both the size and the font on that if I want. So here's my sizing. So let's say I want to put it up to 18 and it's in Arial and maybe I want it in the same font as the stuff above. So that looks good, but you see how it's kind of disappearing off? So I'm going to make the text box a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to highlight it. Whoops, don't move. I didn't want you to move. There we go. Now I'm back inside the text box. So I want this to be um, center, a line. And I, there we go. It's all centered. So now I look at that and I go, yeah, that's okay, but this default color is not really, you know, what I want. So again, I just select that text box and I go up here to something called fill color. And there I have my whole choice of um, colors that I want to use. So, oh, let's go for purple. That's kind of a dark purple. I really like that. Um... Now I should be able to do custom colors. Yes, I can. So I can keep my purple and I can lighten it. Uh, I want it lighter still. Let's try that. That's so much better, isn't it? Okay, now how am I going to, and if I wanted to, I can make these fonts different colors as well. Um, so let's say I want to make these not as bold. Then I come up here to the text color. And I say, actually, I want those in a gray. That's too, that's not enough. That's not dark enough. Because my purple is a bit too dark. So I say I want it that gray. There. So now there's a little bit of distinction between them, but not too much, and they're both still visible. So now I say, well, I want something to connect these two. So until I decide what I want, whoop, I don't want you, I want the text box. Yeah. I'm going to move the text box down. Now I have to move, can I move it? No, so what I have to do is I have to pull it. Oh, no, I have to pull it. And then I have to squish it. And then, there we 
go. And I can use the arrows on my computer keyboard to move them just a touch. Now that's, that's better. Okay, so in between here, I want an arrow connecting them. So I go back to insert and I go back to shape and I come down here to arrows. Now I have a really great choice I love these little whoop de doo arrows, but that's not really what I want here. I just want a simple down arrow. So, so I'm going to grab that, and again, I don't want it too big. And now I can center, nope, too far over. That looks better. Now, of course, I have to move this up, but before I do that, I'm going to select a color for my arrow. So maybe I want to make all my arrows red. Ta-da! That looks pretty cool, hey? And then I'm going to move this up. Pretty groovy, hey? Now I'm going to keep going, but this video is long enough. So what I can do now, as I've showed you in another video, is I can grab my screenshot tool and I can come in here and I can take a photo of that. There we go. And so I have this here now as a photograph that I can then insert on a blog post or into a Word document, a PDF document, wherever I want to use it. And isn't that the absolute coolest thing? It's all free. It's so fantastic. Google Drawings.